Hello, I'm John Hosick, and I'm here at Accent Decor and want to share with you a little bit of fun with fiber sticks. Um, I think one of the really great things, the fiber sticks are a wonderful texture element that we add into design, um, but we as mammals like to accessorize a little bit. So I just want to show you a little bit of fun things that we like to do because I like bling and it really gives us a great way to um, get some nice accents in uh, design work. Um, the fiber sticks are a wonderful um, product and what's really great about them is we think about principles and elements of design, we think of line, space, form, texture, line, and what we want to do is add a textural element to it. So what we've done, we've actually taken a little glue dot and, and dashes, a little bit of the adhesion on here, and we've, voila, like with Iron Chef, some that are already done just to make this nice and easy. So we've actually added the glue dot on both sides and a little bit of the, the great diamond wrap. And what I think is awesome because it gives a little bit of glimmer and sparkle that we actually see in design. But again, we think of design as different layering effects. When we think of waterfalls and, and pieces of design elements that we put into products. I want to add more elements to these to make them extremely, um, to me, glamorous, almost like a piece of jewelry. So um, without any further ado, if I could have my wonderful little set of hands, Miss Ashley. And I love power tools. Those of you that know me know that power tools, Home Depot, the whole nine yards. And this wonderful, expensive, fabulous little tool, a fork. Um, we went to the kitchen area, I snipped the end of it off, and I used that for my device to hold my fiber sticks in place. Because you think of the fiber stick, it really is a very soft tissue. So what we're going to do, we're going to place these little kids, see how nicely those just forked right into that end, and it's actually holding those in place really nicely. So it's giving me a neat, great little grill here. And what I want to do is add some more elements to this for texture back and forth, and the drill is going to speed up our time to make this happen very, very quickly. So with this, I've got my, my glitter with a diamond wrap on the bottom. I'm going to go a different layer, some great aluminum wire, and you want to make sure that your feeds are on the floor away from you, so when you start putting these on there, it makes it very easy. And what I love about the tongs of the fork, what they give you is that to be able to pull it right in there, twist it, and it binds it down in place in a matter of seconds. So I'm just twisting that down folding that, and if we can do a little trigger, go start slow. And you can see how fast and easily this will allow us a little faster. Ooh la la, it makes it very fast and easy to keep adding these little spaces. Now if you notice the diamond wrap has these bands, so I'm gonna add a few little bands to this, I'm gonna move down to a different section, add another little bit of a band to this. And you can see when we group like items to design how that gives us a very strong impact. So what I'm doing, is I keep adding, adding these layers. And how fun, stop. Um, it gives us instant texture elements on the, the fiber sticks, which I think are wonderful. So I'm gonna leave that attached right there. I'm gonna snip this little end off. And a lot of times I always wanna make sure that we finish our elements. And I think a lot of, when I see design, when I work with design, I hate to see an, an end of a wire that's not finished. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers, I'm going to give this little kid a curl, and just to make that a little bit of a finished end, it gives it another finishing element, so that looks like it's just not an ended wire. And what I want to do is keep adding a few more elements, a different gauge to this. And since we did the gold diamond wrap, I think I'm going to add a little bit of copper and gold both. Now, if you're feeling extremely creative, but you have to make sure these little kids are different directions, and they're like a little slinky. If you haven't seen these, like a slinky, a slinky, you know, a wonderful toy. I'm a big kid if you can't tell. So one that direction, and I want to make sure these little guys stay a little bit separate. And I'm making sure each one of these are bound over on my fork. So let's go. And I'm going to put my thumb in between the two elements to keep them separate. Go. Go. And yeah, I can get some individual banding going on. Stop. And see, this is one of those little snafus when it happens of that nature, when they tangle just a little bit, which is not really a problem. We're going to straighten these out a little. We're going to allow those elements to play right back into it. I'm going to straighten them out, making it a very solid form. In design, it's never always a lot of times what, you, you, what happens to me is how the end result and how we make it look even more intentional, because I think some accidents can be some of the most fabulous pieces. So let's go. Start off slow. It's going to give me a very heavy section of the wire here, which I think is really, it's almost like that electrical conduit.
and it was unintentional, but I really kind of like that. I actually might have to have more twist again. Stop. And I'm starting to come off my fork, so I'm just going to push it on a little bit further. Snip these little troopers off and look at all the great, we're getting this great depth that's happening. So I want to add just a little bit of color and I love the wool. And this is actually the wired wool. You can manipulate it to do whatever you like, but it just keeps giving us a different layer every time. I'm going to put these little guys up here because they want to get tangled in. So let's go. This will just be a quick little dressing. So I don't want to really cover up too much of all my goodies, but I definitely want it to be a great texture. We'll go back here. Done. So we'll remove that little kit off of there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish these little ends off. A lot of times I like to bury them into my design. So what I will do is pull these straight. And you could take a little dab of glue if you'd like to to finish that off. And again, all these little wired ends. I'm going to take another little great device as my little tool. For some of these thinner wires, it gives us a great way to create like a little finished end, a coil upon itself, almost like a nautical shell. I'm going to rotate that little trooper down around there. It'd be great to have a, that third set of hands. I should have had Miss Ashley for a second to hold this because it probably looks a little awkward on the camera. But And there again, those buying down, what a great fun element that gives us to this. So how beautiful would this be just actually in design itself? You could use this for a treatment, um, hanging something down from it, well, I think it would be wonderful. And we always love that, that voila um, essence for afterwards. So those of us that, that love design and all the pretty elements that come to it, we've actually did a finished design here, which I think is just fabulous. And just those very yummy colors, we think of the sorbet colors and the hot pinks and oranges and pinks and how beautiful those are. And we see the line. When you learn how to work with line, we can cross those lines and get a strong, strong impact. And we have this great little sheltering with the Phalaenopsis orchids. But um, I think what a wonderful way to, to bling up some of our fiber sticks with some of the diamond wrap and the um, aluminum wire. And uh, this is fiber sticks extraordinaire. Thank you.